If you watch this video till the end, your business will never be the same. Now, I spend a lot of money on Facebook ads and here's what I've learned. Running Facebook ads can be divided into three parts. First, you have your testing phase where you test products, creatives, audiences, and try to squeak out a first sale for your e-commerce business. Second, you have the scaling phase. This is when you start spending more money on your ads, scaling your best audiences and creatives and really dial in on your numbers. And finally, you have the automation phase. This is when you take a step back from managing your ads, your system everything you build the team and you start sipping pina coladas on the shores of Cabo and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to dial in phase 3 and how to automate your Facebook ads to the point where you're not chained to your ads manager anymore and guys if you don't know me my name is Alex Fedotov and I've been labeled as a king of scaling Facebook ads by Forbes and I made over 100 million dollars from Facebook ads alone and also I helped over 1,000 entrepreneurs scale their ads successfully too so without further ado drop a like on this video subscribe and let's jump right into it in 20 23 the key to scaling is creative so get straight to the point guys so if you want to automate your ads you need to have a content sourcing and testing system that just feeds your content to test into your ads on autopilot and for getting content the best thing that you can do is to work with micro influencers these are social media users who have smaller but highly engaged following so by partnering with micro influencers you can tap into their niche audiences and you can generate content that will resonate with your audience this can be cost-effective way to reach potential customers because micro influencers they usually charge less than larger influencers so there are a few things that you have to consider when you're hiring micro influencers number one their follower count should be less than 30,000 you go beyond 30,000 they might begin to charge like a lot of money and the best thing is that some micro influencers won't even take payment so you can offer them to just send them your product and they'll do the content free of charge pretty much and one very cool tip here send an equivalent of your product most likely 99% chance that your product that you're selling right now is present on Amazon. That's the case for most products. Send them that product so it doesn't take them like 7, 10, 14 days to get the product. For example, if it takes you 10, 14 days to get the product from China to your influencer, if you shorten it to like 3 days, now you can pump a lot more content a lot faster and now you can optimize your creative sourcing process. Second super important element in creative sourcing and testing system is having a full-time video editor that can help you create high quality video content for your ads. Professional video editors, they can help you to create visually appealing ads that also convert. Full-time video editor guys will cost you probably between $500,000, sometimes $2,000 or even more per month if they're really good, but it will be worth it. Because if you have that person, you can just focus on other elements of the business, right? And they can just pump in new content and you can scale your ads very fast. Until this day, I know seven figure entrepreneurs that added their own ads and that for me just doesn't make any sense. Now for hiring video editor, I would suggest having like a proper process where you have candidates applying through a form and then you're giving them some trial tasks. This way you can test simultaneously like 50 people and you can get ads sourced from them. And by doing this, like out of 50 people, you probably get like three or five good people. And out of those three, five good people, like you'll probably find one or two phenomenal video editors. So it's pretty much a numbers game. So as long as you're kind of like committed and understand it, that it will take some time and you'll have to go through quite a few people to find one good candidate, then you will do very well. Third element in content sourcing system is sourcing user-generated content from your customers because it can be a powerful way to showcase the value your products and also it's just free way to get content so you can utilize app like archive so this app out of the text instagram and tiktok post your brand is tagged in and it downloads them you can request usage rights in few clicks so now once you have this content there's a lot of raw material that your video editor can actually use to put new ads together also you can utilize platform like join brands so join brands allows you to source content like ugc content directly from influencers there's like even reviews here for each person how good they're to work with like 10,000 creators and everything is going through this platform they don't want to lose their ratings or they don't want to have like bad feedback so what you can do is pretty much have like great relationship with them and source content on a scale without risking a lot of money videos would start as low as $60 and photos start at $15 the next super important element here is hiring media buyers and automated Facebook rules so media buyers are a professional who specialize in managing your ads and they help you to implement like a comprehensive advertising strategy monitor all of the metrics and make sure that everything stays on track now one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it 
it comes to hiring media buyers is that they usually hire agencies and most agencies are usually all over the place because they have media buyers working for them and then those media buyers would serve like 5 10 20 different clients and it's impossible to get great results and dedicate full attention to like 20 different ad accounts unless you get recommended to a specific agency and even then i would do like a hard due diligence i would make sure they're they're doing great job for other clients i would do like a lot of things to make sure that they don't f up what you have built already the better solution that i advise instead of like hiring agencies is to bring a media buyer on board. Bring a person who can pretty much take the skills from you and then implement the system that you have already mastered. So what a lot of people do and one of the biggest mistakes that they do is that they expect the media buyer to come in with this like magical like new system and take their business to magical results, right? This doesn't happen. Now for media buyers, who I like to hire are the analytical people. Maybe people with science education, people with computer degree, people like that are engineering mindset, right? Those people usually make the best media buyers because they're they're good with data, they're good with structure, they're good with following a process. I wouldn't go to any platforms. I wouldn't go to Fiverr, like Upwork. I would simply look through your network. Maybe you know someone who's very smart, but maybe they don't know what to do with their life and would be excited to learn a skill that can serve them for life. One more aspect here, guys, is Facebook rules, right? So Facebook rules are extremely helpful for automation. Just comment rules below so I can send this over to you. Once you define the KPIs that you're using to manage your ad account, then anyone can replicate it. Let's say your cost per click. If it's higher than $2, then shut down the asset. Now, obviously, after iOS 14, Facebook data is messed up. So you want to be utilizing data from tools like Triple Whale or Cometly or Nordbeam in order to optimize your ads properly. So this is the data where you and your or your media buyer that you hire will have to look at to make decisions on which ads is to cut or which campaigns to cut or which ads to cut. And the last thing I wanna share with you guys is the power of AI that you can utilize to scale your Facebook ads. One way to use ChatGPT for Facebook ads is to create and test different ad variations quickly. So you can input different ad copy and targeting options into ChatGPT and the model can generate a variety of ad variations for you to choose from. So just by doing that, you can test a lot more variations a lot faster. Another way to use ChatGPT to automate your Facebook ads management is to optimize your targeting. ChatGPT can analyze your past ad performance data and can suggest new targeting options that might be more effective for reaching your desired audience. Overall, using ChatGPT for Facebook ads management can help you save time, optimize your ad campaigns and get better results from your ad spend. ChatGPT can help you take your Facebook ads to the next level through the power of automation. So it's humans and machines that you have to use in your business in order to scale it faster in 2023. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I wanna share with you something I'm very, very excited about. So we are launching ESS 3.0, the new version of our program that will heavily focus on three main aspects, right? It will focus on advertorials, paid traffic systems, and it will focus on creative sourcing. These three things is pretty much like all you need to scale your ads. Like I, be I truly believe like if you dial in advertorials and there should be a video on my channel where you can check the advertorials kind of like the whole training on that and you dial in the creative sourcing system and then you uh, dial in the paid traffic systems you can pretty much scale your business there is no way that you don't double your business or triple your business if you dial in these elements so guys you can click on the link below if you're interested to apply before the price goes up next wednesday and hopefully i'll see you on the other side hopefully we'll see you inside of our program working with you and learning from you i'm 1000 percent sure you will learn something from us and you will scale your business because we help so many entrepreneurs already please hit a like button guys and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this guys Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.